Hi everyone, my name is Mason. I am a GRE tutor and live class presenter with Magoosh. Um, I have been working in the industry for about a year and a half now, so not super long, but uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. The path that led me to working for Magoosh and into the test prep industry is a little bit winding. I studied philosophy during my bachelor's degree at Augustana University, which is a small little liberal arts college in eastern South Dakota. Uh, I met my wife there, and after we graduated, we traveled a bit and worked a bit. And uh, I decided after a few years to go back to school for a master's degree in environmental philosophy at the University of Montana, which brought us all the way out to Western Montana. Um, I had a great experience and after I graduated, I uh, was looking for a job and saw that, hey, Magoosh was hiring. I'd used Magoosh for my GRE prep and really had a super positive experience. So I thought, hey, they seem like a great company. Let's apply, see what happens. And almost two years later, here I am working for them. When I look back at my own GRE preparation, there are a lot of things I wish I would have done differently or just known about uh, just to improve my performance and my studying experience. I think the biggest tips I would give my past self who was studying for the test would be to just have a plan. I think following a study plan really diligently is probably the greatest key to success on the GRE. And fortunately, we have really, really good study plans. Beyond that, I think just uh, making the studying interesting, trying to change it up, uh, finding ways to balance the verbal with the quant, with the vocabulary, with the AWA, and just getting a good mix of all those things in my study day because I was someone who tended to really focus on my weaknesses and kind of bank on my strengths, uh, which tend to be the verbal and the AWA sides of the test, less so on the quant. And so I think looking back, I should have probably done a more balanced approach to my studying and not become so fixated on the quant, even though it was definitely the area where I needed to put the most focus. So having a balanced uh, study plan would have pr probably done me a lot of favors. One question I've been getting a lot this year as a tutor is how can I effectively study for the GRE while sheltering indoors during this pandemic. And the first thing I wanna say is that's a really difficult situation to be in. I think studying for this test is hard during just a normal year, and it's especially hard right now. So make sure you give yourself a lot of credit for doing it. Um, and the biggest thing I think is just make sure you're giving yourself ample time to rest, recover, not focus on the GRE, uh, and just take care of yourself. That's really the biggest piece of advice I have because it's easy to get caught up in the huge to-do list you have uh, when it comes to applying for grad school. I've been through it, but uh, just plan on having days where you're just not gonna get much done and that's completely okay. I do have a few specific tips as far as making your studying effective while at home. The first thing is just setting up a really good study space. So it should be a space that is obviously uh, fairly quiet where you can sit and get some work done, um, but make sure it's a space you, you enjoy spending time in, right? Make it your own. Uh, put little things on your desk that kind of remind you of why you're studying for this test. Maybe it's a pamphlet of a program you wanna get into. Um, whatever you have to do to make that space feel productive, and quiet and your own. So that's the first uh, piece of advice I have. And the other piece I think of is that's been really effective for me is just putting myself on a schedule um, that allows me kind of structured breaks. And what I mean by that is, okay, I'm gonna spend the next 35 minutes really, really focused. And then after that 35 minutes, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes to go get a snack, walk around, use the bathroom, whatever I have to do, and then after that 10 minutes, I'm back in for another 35. And I think having a structure like that, especially when you're trying to study at home during this chaotic time, can really be effective because otherwise, and as someone who works from home, I know all too well how easy it is just to get caught up in distractions and uh, pets and other people you live with. So try as best you can to keep yourself on a schedule and again, set up that really awesome study space. What do I love most about Magoosh? Well, um, let me talk about it kind of from two different sides, from the student facing side, because I was a Magoosh student, and also now from the kind of employee facing side. So from the student facing side, it was just a really great product. It was just, everything looked really sharp. I loved the video lessons. I thought they were really engaging and clear. I loved that the product was laid out to where I could kind of move at my own pace through the content. I could do, 
you know, really great custom practices on one certain question type. That was huge, just being able to filter those questions and choose areas that I needed more work in. So I just thought everything was really intuitive with Magoosh and also the help team. I mean, they were absolutely stellar. I could contact them with any question. If I'm struggling in an area um, on the test or just like having issues with my account, they would get back to me right away with really good advice uh, and make sure that I was just taken care of. And so for me, that just went a really long ways towards uh, getting a super favorable uh, perspective of Magoosh from that student facing side. Now, as an employee, I can say it's exactly the same on the other side of things. Um, they just simply take care of their employees. It has a great work culture. Um, I just am so thrilled every day to get to work with this amazing team of people who are intelligent and kind and most of all, super, super passionate about the work that they do. Um, one of our core values at Magoosh is wow over profit. So we are here for wow. Like we want people to use our product to have that testing experience and go, wow, I just really feel like I had a great experience with this company. Um, and that's been the experience so far for me as an employee is just every day I'm constantly being hit by, wow, this is a really, really cool job. When I'm not at my desk uh, developing live classes or working with students on my computer, uh, you can find me outside. As I mentioned, I got a degree in environmental philosophy, mostly because I just spend as much time as possible outdoors, uh, whether it's rock climbing, mountain biking, hiking, backpacking with my dogs, uh, basically anything I can do outside is, is gonna make me pretty happy. So I currently live now in, in Las Vegas, Nevada. My wife is going to law school here at UNLV, and uh, it's a great place just to get out and explore. Uh, it's a, definitely a beautiful desert climate here, and uh, as someone who grew up in the north, I definitely do not mind not having a winter this year. If you are like me and you just study more effectively when you're part of a group of people going through the same thing you are, trying their best to just boost their performance in this test, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Contact us at help at magoosh.com. Sign up for a, a study plan, sign up for a live class. Uh, we are a community of people who are here for you, and that includes me. So uh, come to me with you know verbal questions, AWA questions. How can I improve my writing? Uh, how can I perform better on those really tricky triple blank text completion questions. Whatever you need help with, that's what we're here for. So like this channel, drop a comment uh, in the uh, a comment section, and tell us what you want to see on these channels too, because we have a lot of freedom to just develop content that is for you. So drop those questions in, say hi. Uh, I look forward to working with all of you. Cheers.